Are you moving to the Cleveland area this summer? And are you a little worried that there's gonna be nothing to do in Cleveland over the summer months? Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk all about Kelly's Island. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Living in Cleveland, where I make videos about all things Northeast Ohio, Northwest Ohio, and even down South. You know the drill. If you don't wanna miss any of my videos, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment. Okay. I make videos and it's summertime. In fact, it's Friday, July 1st, and this is the 4th of July weekend. So this is going to be a quick video, <clears throat> but last Saturday, um, <clears throat> I think if, you, if you've been watching my videos, you all know I have a, a place up in Marblehead, which is in Northwest Ohio. It's between, it's about an hour and 10 minutes west of downtown Cleveland, right on the shores of Lake Erie. And this is where Ohioans go to party and vacation in the summertime. It's called Lake Erie Shores and Islands. You have the Marblehead area, Catawba area, Port Clinton, which is all mainland. And then we also have islands. Of course, the biggest party party island is Putin Bay. And I've done two videos on Putin Bay so far. And I've also done a video of Kelly's Island, but it's been a while. And last Saturday, my husband and I were going for a ride on our bikes. We have e-bikes, which are so much fun, which I should probably just do a video on e-bikes. And we were riding around Marblehead. We were going to go get some breakfast and then go get a gift. We had a 50th birthday party to attend to that night. And we were just killing time. And my husband goes, hey, the Kelly's Island Ferry just pulled in. Let's go over to Kelly's Island for a few hours. I'm like, all right, let's go. So with our bikes... And us, the ferry trip was $64 round trip, which I think is expensive, but that's only because the Miller Ferry, which takes you to Putin Bay, is like half the price. But still, for $64 round trip with your bike, it, it's and you're going to spend all day there, <clears throat> it's well worth the money. So why we loved Kelly's Island is we could literally, from where our, where our place is at Bay Point, we can ride our bikes right to the ferry. So we don't have to mess with putting it on a bike rack which we do if we take it to the Miller Ferry to put the bikes on a bike rack and they're heavy and then unload them and then put them back. This was so easy. We just hop on the boat. It's a half hour ferry trip and it drops you not right downtown. If you want to get dropped off right into downtown Kelly's on, you have to take the Jet Express. And I'm not really sure. I think you have to get the Jet Express from downtown Port Clinton. I'm not entirely sure. There's a couple other places I think you can pick it up and that will drop you right off downtown. But Kelly's Island Ferry, but it's a short walk. People walk it all the time. Um, now, what I like about Kelly's Island, it is more family friendly. It's a very large island. It's actually more residential. So if you're riding your bikes, it's a perfect, you get a nice long um, bike tour. And there's a lot of state parks. There's a lot of trails, hiking trails. Um, there's still some active quarries, which there's a quarry, active quarry, they go back and forth um, on the mainland in Marblehead. So there's an active quarry, and I know when I was a kid, we would jump off the ledges into the water because it's just perfectly clear. So, and there's glacial grooves, which are so cool to see. In fact, I didn't really get a video of them because they're fixing the fencing around it, but it's a huge tourist attraction. Um, there's summer camps for kids. There was, I think, Campos? Cap I, this was a week ago. I can't remember. One of them is a, like a religious one. Um, but we were getting on the ferry and a bunch of kids were coming off the ferry. And they were like rotating kids. And there's a 4-H camp there for kids. And when we were riding our bikes by, they were dinging the bell for lunch, which was kind of cool. So lots to see and do. <clears throat> there's still a party scene. Downtown Kelly's Island has quite a few bars. There's a pup pot, there's ice cream, little shops. There's the casino where we had a light lunch, which overlooks the water. In fact, I took a lot of video of that. Um, <clears throat> out on the other side of the island, there's West Bay Inn, which is a popular place for boaters to come. They can just dock real quick, come in and eat and then leave. There's a brewery, which I did not like beer. My husband liked his. I didn't, I didn't like mine. Um, just lots to see and do. So if you're looking for, um, to go, on a, you can even do a day trip. Um, oh, there's a state park with a beach and there's, you can do tent camping, you can do RV camping. So if you do want to stay the night, but don't want to get a hotel or something like that, you can stay at the state park. 
So lots of options, but if you're new to the Cleveland area, <clears throat> I highly suggest you check out these islands because they're literally right in our backyard. And they're, it's just such a fun way to, to spend a day, especially in the summer months. Um, I love it. And, and most people that I talk to who are moving to Cleveland from some other state, A, they don't know about our Metro Park system, which is phenomenal. And B, they don't know about our islands. And if they do, they think, Oh, it's islands but until you actually experience them you just have no idea <clears throat> and you just get that summer vibe just being up in that marblehead area in fact i just came back from my old neighborhood in north Olmsted, visiting my old neighbor and they're getting ready to move well they actually moved they bought an rv and anyways it just reminded me of our other neighbor she's had a place up in marblehead for forever and when we were, when I was younger, before I had a place in Marblehead, in fact, she's the reason I do, she would be packing up her car on a Friday and I'd be standing at the end of my driveway with my little kids and I'd be so depressed because I knew that she was going to be having the best time out on the boat. You know, there's bands everywhere, afternoon, evening, and I just knew she was going to be having the best weekend ever. Um, so it's definitely the place. I mean, we're heading up there shortly. And I had to take the turnpike heading west to get off. So the exit to get the turnpike to get off where I live now is the same exit you would take to go up to Marblehead. No easy pass dedicated lane. All tickets are easy pass. So I, and I have an easy pass. Like it's, it, it took me over 10 minutes to get through the easy pass lane because everybody and their brother is heading up to the islands and to that, to they call it vacation land. And there's a reason. They're all heading up there. It's gonna be a zoo. So I wanted to make this video really quickly because we got to get on the road. We need to stop. I need to find some ribs somewhere. And I hope you all have a fantastic holiday weekend. And you know, if you're looking to move to the Cleveland area, give me a call. All my information is down below. I answer my phone. I answer my emails. I answer my texts. So you know what to do. I hope you enjoy Kelly's Island and I'll see you next time. Thanks.